Trade between Israel right here and Egypt right here has been minimal but not non-existent. The two countries cooperated on a natural gas pipeline right here on the Sinai Peninsula and built some textile factories that provide jobs for thousands of Egyptians. During the unrest, many of those textile factories were closed because people couldn't get to work. And the attack on the natural gas pipeline in northern Sinai was seen as a warning that some might try to disrupt the relationship. Now, some economic experts hope that the benefits of trade will help cement the peace and prevent a future Egyptian government from breaking ties with Israel. Others, though, are still worried. The population uh, in Egypt, what do they want? They want economic welfare. The way to do it is not by eliminating a $1 billion a year of income uh, from selling gas. So uh, the rationality is saying that uh, uh, the gas agreement will continue. But rationality is not always the case in the Middle East. Rationality may be in short supply, but natural gas in this region is not. That pipeline, well, it provides more than 40% of Israel's natural gas. Egypt exported some $300 million worth of natural gas to Israel last year. And those revenues, they are expected to hit a billion dollars by the year 2015. Now, according to U.S. State Department data, Egyptian textile exporters sell more than a billion dollars worth of goods in the U.S. And those goods move customs free under a U.S. initiative called the Qualified Industrial Zones. This program gives factories in Egypt incentives if they use raw materials from Israel. None of the analysts I've spoken to think the future will be easy for Egypt, but moving forward, the key to normal relations will partly rest on ongoing economic and financial ties.